Hello, here we are in Ardmore, County Waterford, and the young people from classes 3, 4, 5 and 6 are singing a local ballad. Ardmore is a small town on the border of Cork and Waterford. In the winter it has a population of only four or five hundred, but in the summer thousands of visitors come here from all parts of the country. When the visitors have gone, it's back to the fishing for the winter months. And although Ardmore looks ideally suited for fishing with its large sheltered bay, there have been a number of spectacular shipwrecks just off the headland. During the First World War, a cork steamer called the Bandon was torpedoed by a German submarine and sank with only a few survivors. St Declan is the patron saint of Ardmore. Now St Declan came to Ardmore, probably from Wales, in the early years of the 5th century. In fact, some people think he came before St. Patrick. And when he arrived, he set up a monastery here, which became the principal church in this part of the country, which was then known as the Kingdom of the Dacia. A monastery in medieval times was a place of great artistic activity. An abbot like St. Declan would have been proud of his gifted artists and sculptors. These sculptures of scenes from the Bible are nearly a thousand years old. This one shows the judgment of Solomon. On Friday the 26th of August 1642, Lord Dungarvan and Lord Brogel set out from Lismore, over 20 miles away, to lay siege to the Round Tower and Castle here in Ardmore. The people in Ardmore knew they were coming, and some 40 of them retreated to the tower. <laughs> This whole event ended in disaster. The people had to surrender when the enemy brought in cannon from the sea. The next day, Saturday, 27th of August, 1642, 117 people from Ardmore were hanged.